What's up guys? Welcome to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Have you been here before? Or maybe you have. But have you been to this area before? This is downtown Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. Let's walk around and see what we can find. Something you don't normally see. I know you guys were hoping for my first video to be the beach video. That'll happen. As long as you hit the like button, share these videos, I'll make it eventually to the beach. Anyways, let's see what we can find in this area right here. It's really interesting. I think this is a market area. It is a market area actually, but it's closing at the moment. It's like rush hour time. A lot of people are going home and let's see if we can find some uh, interesting things on our way commuting around here, okay? All right. One of my first things I had to adjust to the city was the fact that I do not speak the language. It kind of feels like I'm back in Vietnam, actually. When I was in Vietnam, I couldn't speak the language. And so it was it put me in an element where I had to learn to survive. And I get the, that type of vibes here. Granted, Portuguese is similar to Spanish, but it's totally different in many ways. And so when you, <laughs> I wake up every morning and I approach people, I might start speaking Spanish with them, but then I realize that, wait a minute, I can't talk, <laughs> I can't speak that language. I have to speak uh, Portuguese. And the people look at me crazy like, what are you saying in Portuguese? So that's how, how it's been. But anyways, let me film this area right here. It's a very interesting area right here. And so I do want to do a couple things. Enjoy the food, enjoy the beaches, <laughs> enjoy the things you can find at the beach. <laughs> And just uh, enjoy the whole culture of Brazil, whatever that may be. We'll find out. All right. Some people may think uh, I'm, ha I'm happy to be here besides uh, Argentina. That's not true. I want to stay in Argentina a little bit longer, but I was there for three months. My, my visa ended, so I couldn't film anymore over there. I could have got an extension, but I, you know, I said to myself, let me just come here and show you guys something different. I know a lot of you guys enjoy this uh, different lifestyle of what you see in Brazil, so that's it. I wonder what is that right here? Got a lot of people walking this way. Let's check it out. Everywhere I'm going right now is kind of new. All right, it's a different way of life. And so I'm gonna be holding my camera differently. And sometimes you won't even hear me talk. All right, because I, I probably don't want people to know it's it's an American dude walking around the area. All right. Food, foods. Smell like food here. I do smell like good chicken here. Good vibes. Wow. This looks amazing right here. Wow. These are sandwiches and everything. I feel like this is a big transit area for a lot of people to get home. Uh, head to the favelas. Ah. I'm um, right, there's a train station there. Okay. And people are walking this way. And so we'll do the same. We just opened up to a new um, courtyard. Super pack of people. Let's get the street train right here. If you want to get a train, I'm not going to do the train. I just wanted to see how this place looks. This courtyard. Got all type of people here. This is working class people here. I can imagine that people, the robbers are here too. I don't know if they, I got their attention. But I got the stick, the, my GoPro's on a, a, a stick that uh, is made out of metal, so 
if somebody comes at me, I could probably use the, my stick to protect me. If they're trying to take something, as long as they don't take my life, I don't care. If they take my camera, you go hear the story later. <laughs> we watching this, then you know, chances are I was able to get the footage. All right. See, this one's uh, oh, I don't know. It's like uh, like a really nice area, bro. Ravioli. Oh, it's with the beef. <laughs> yeah, he got the beef on there getting it in. All right. Yeah. It's like a, I feel like it's like a Jamaican patty, but um, Brazilian style, right? It looks good. Look at that. See if I can get one. I don't want to make too much noise. There's too much people here. You gotta give the receipt, and that's how they know you pay for it. <laughs> Americano, no, no Portuguese. And that's good, Pastel. Carne. Carne. Abacaxi. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So I was able to say something to her while not too much people being around. <laughs> but it is weird it is weird uh, to, sp to speak the language. This is real flaky guys. Mm. Mm. It's mostly dough. Trying to get to the meat.
This thing has olives in it. Man. technique of keep walking and not talking has really helped me out There's, nobody notices me a lot and it seems that I'm walking right into some form of Felavela <laughs> which I'm not gonna do <laughs> not until I get invited unless I get invited I'm not going in there but uh this is like a local bus stop into the favela so people don't have to walk this one thing about favelas is it's very steep very steep to get uh to get up so these buses help people uh. yeah all of this is this for me uncharted territory i've never been to see me I'm too gone by the time they're like oh yeah that dude knows he's going uh, we're gonna hit the turn we're gonna hit the left <laughs> and then uh we call it quits What is a contrast between this and Brazil is obvious. The amount of different culture or uh, colors you see here is huge. You know what I mean? One thing for sure, everybody here is Brazilian. For sure. For sure. But I, what I plan on doing now is probably doubling back and then hitting a hitting a uh, a taxi or getting a taxi heading back to where I stay. Uh, how them try walking in by yourself? You don't know if you're walking into a dangerous area. <laughs> <laughs> and so, if that's the case, you don't want to be in that place too long. I want to be quicker than six nine and old block. <laughs> <laughs> Just get in there, out of there. Be like, where you at? Where you at? Old block, and then run in the tech, run in the car, get the hell out of there. It's nothing nice. <laughs> Not <laughs> all right, all right. I'm in a more secluded street. I can talk. See my face. 
see more people just hanging out. I can tell this is like a uh, really uh, catchy neighborhood. So I didn't show it, but there was some guys sleeping on the floor, <laughs> like a couple, but like some addicts. And yeah. But I feel like this city is really pumped up since I've been here for a couple of days. It's really just pumped up, surrounded by tourism. Tourism really fuels this city right here. It gives it a, a lot of energy, you know what I'm saying? So, that's what I'm thinking. And so when there is no tourism here, the city can get even more sketchier. Um, a couple of days ago, a friend of mine I was just talking to, he was here, he was here with his girlfriend. Um, they were just walking down the beach strip and they ended up being targeted. His girl had a chain on. Uh, my friend, he's from, he's from a very rough neighborhood. So for him, he never been, you know, targeted. This gives that vibe out, but with his, his girl, it was a, just a different story. He didn't realize, you know, he's just making sure everything was good. He even seen the guys following him. He even saw that, but uh, it ended up not going the way he wanted it, pretty much. Um, uh, pretty much he saw two guys walk up behind him. So he's like, what's up with y'all? But he realized they were already surrounded him. So the person that was supposed to snatch the chain was already in front. And they snatched the chain, but they, they popped it, but they weren't able to take it. And so they were able, my homeboy, his girl was able to get out of there safe with the chain. And so that was, it ended up all right. But it was just a wake up call for him because, you know, his girlfriend, he's, he's black. His girlfriend is white. So it's like, the, I mean, some people just gonna stick out more than others. But he never, like he's been here plenty of times, is that, you know, he said he never been, felt like he'd been targeted, but ever since he was with his girl, it's been different. So, it is some energy like that. And not for nothing, even if you are same complexion of the people here, still can get targeted. Which is why I'm, <laughs> walking away from the favelas right now. Alright? See your life right tired. shower traffic one thing for sure though if you are traveling here and hopefully that happened to me I can find me a local and they can show me around town that way I can uh, get the Brazilian deal because as soon as you speak that, um, that English <laughs> the prices change <laughs> you, you, Fat Joe say yesterday price is not today's price. Well, here in Brazil, if you speak English, today's price is not today's price. <laughs> it, it literally was uh, this much, but not anymore since you're. Uh, it's just an American tax, people. I mean, everybody trying to eat, and so if they can charge a little bit more, and they feel like, you know, the idea is you have it you might have it you're gonna try to get it I don't think it's wrong to like a uh, bargain though you know what I'm saying it's never wrong to bargain I'm looking for a taxi right now <laughs> give me a taxi that can bring me where I need to be yeah, I feel like this more more open area to walk around and explore okay Ooh. That 
was kind of tense walking through that area. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I wanted to speak to people, but there's so much in certain areas, so much people stuff happening. I know I would have been a lightning rod for people like, who's that dude? What's in his back? What's going on? <laughs> That's why I was like real quick to get out of there. But once you get out of that area right here, you're into some big open streets right here. I don't know what this is. Uh, it looks like a court building or something. It looks like, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I can't film that. So, uh, security. All right. Hello. No, don't worry. I don't film you, okay? All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So, I, yeah, security. <laughs> they were ready, though. They were. I, I didn't see them, so I was like, oh. And uh, people tell you, man, you got all types of uh, law here and authority here, and the ones you want to be <laughs> careful around are the ones with the the big guns. <laughs> you don't want to get those guys upset. <laughs> they they really about it. <laughs> From my understanding. Then I was here at this market earlier. It should be closing now, but I didn't because it was laggy. I'm gonna do another walk around. Hopefully you can see some some of the energy from the lag. Alright, so it's a market right there, but it's closed. Oh it's closing. I think if you're gonna do it, you gotta come here around. I don't know, seven o'clock. Well, around 12 o'clock afternoon to really get the energy around five they start winding stuff down okay not too many people with dreads out here neither i noticed and when people see me they look at me like i don't know if it's because they see i got a stick in my hand or they're looking at my dress i notice they still look at me when i'm not filming the same way and i'm not really saying that neither it was interesting. Then I'm gonna get to this end of the street right here and see if I can find me a, a taxi back to my hotel. See what else I can film. But yeah, man, if you are from the city and you are living here now and wanna show me some cool places to go, maybe a place to eat, you own a restaurant, you want me to go to the restaurant or I should try a, Bra a Brazilian dish, you think? Or you wanna invite me to favelas and you plugged in? I'll let you boy. All right. Let's see if I can make that happen. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> A lot of you guys have been wanting me to come here, and finally, I'm here. So let's do it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, positivity. <laughs> and before I leave, I gotta remind you to always stay live, okay? Yo! We're in Brazil, baby. I wonder what's gonna happen next.